Tough fiscal times in the state's largest city has prompted the mayor to call for pay cuts and furloughs of city employees. The temporary layoffs will affect more than 2,000 workers, including the mayor. Desiree Taylor has the story. The temporary layoffs will be widespread, impacting every non-uniformed worker in the city of Newark. A total of 18 furlough days, one per month through the end of next year, will be scheduled around the holidays. In addition, 61 employees making over $100,000 face a 2% pay cut, including the mayor. These salary reductions and furloughs will save the city millions of dollars. Why is that critically important right now? Well, by saving ourselves millions of dollars doing this, number one, we'll be able to move forward with some what we believe are critical city programs, from making sure that we hire another class of police officers to get out on our streets, hopefully by the end of this year, to making sure that we have summer jobs for our young people, which we believe are critical. But in addition to that, it's another step to help us slowly dig out of the budget hole we are now in. Booker says he's managed to cut in half the $180 million deficit he inherited when he first came into office nearly three years ago. Efforts to cut costs, attract new businesses, and bring in additional revenue through tax collections and parking violations have helped, but Booker believes it will take more belt tightening to meet his goal of self-sufficiency by 2012. My goal is nothing less than a balanced budget in 2012 and a non-reliance on reoccurring revenue. But he says meeting this challenge will require sacrifices from all employees, including fire and police. Overtime has been reduced by $10 million, but they're exempt from pay cuts and furloughs, partly because of safety reasons. However, it's non-uniformed employees who will take the hit starting July 1st when the furloughs will begin. I think it's better than a layoff just to have a job. It's a good thing. Does it hurt morale? Is it tough when everybody's facing these difficult times? Yes, it's, part, it's, it's hurting on everyone, but what can you do? We're not trying to hurt um, our employees and we're not trying to hurt our taxpayers as we make these difficult decisions. We're trying to be innovative and creative in, in the way that we look at solutions um, that, that can save money, um, re, you know, reduce expenses, generate additional revenue, but also um, help our employees and our residents um, through what are difficult times for them as well. Meantime, city officials are still working on the 2009 budget, which is estimated to total about $650 million, slightly less than last year. Tax and fee increases are likely. However, those details have not been released at this time. Desiree Taylor, NJN News, Newark.